Look at this alien gun I just found. What the hell? This game is so good. Flying to space in flyers. Real spaceships? No. Flyers are local. Flyers you use on planets like this. The spaceship, you go to space. And there's real uh, space combat. There's real visiting space stations. You could hyper jump, but you need to upgrade your gas capacity. It's literally Imperium with good gameplay. And a lot of enemy diversity and like... It's just crazy how good this game has been. It's like the best PC game I've ever played in my life. Nobody knows about it. Look at that thing. This game is so cool. Ah. There you go, headshot. I love this game. The combat's good. I think the combat's awesome. Alright. Let's get my Jeep. Dude, one more damage and this Jeep is gonna go on fire. But if I find a repair kit... Look, headlights on the Jeep. Oh no, they're broken! The headlights aren't working. I need, I need a repair kit bad. I need a repair kit now. Let's get that other Tenexus gun. Or else it's gonna, yep, it disappeared. I knew it was gonna disappear. The guns in this game disappear in 30 seconds. I don't know why they made that change. Well, I guess I do know why. In the second game, there was just hundreds of guns on the ground. Alright. But you can still pick them up if you, if you get them in 30 seconds. Look at all the guns in the back of my car. Dude, they drop so much ammo. I'm never gonna need ammo again. Oh, let's eat those fruits and the medical plants they dropped. This game is so awesome. Look, I'm not even joking. Look, I'll show you right now. Let's go to space. Um, what is this save? NAD. Look, so at first I'm thinking, okay, so it's a little bit more simple than Empyrean. There's no, you can't actually see your aircraft. But wait a minute. Oh, that's right. This game literally is better than any game I've ever played. I can see my, I can see my aircraft. Uh, warp jump, dude. Not only that, but you could use hyperspeed locally. There was a review of a guy complaining about space travel being slow, dude. He didn't know about hyperspeed. You can get to any area in space, in the solar system that you're currently in, in seconds using the hyperspeed, and. I upgraded my um my hull. It was expensive. It was ten grand, bro. Whoa! Look at this game, dude. So I could really like I could escort this ship. I could land on it. This game is so fucking cool. And then watch this, dude. The combat's literally good. Like it's like arcadey good. You know what I mean? It's like this space combat is so good that you would think that it was just a game made for space combat. And look, you can do this. You could like strafe left and right to like dodge missiles. Oh, and the missile lock-on system. You gotta see this game, dude. This is, it's not a joke. Look at this. Look at this game, bro. This is one of the best PC games I've ever played in my life. And it only has 50 Steam reviews. It's called Precursors, not The Precursors. Then it won't show up in the results. Look at this video game, dude. So, there's trunk space. Look at this art style. There's a texture loading issue. But it'll it'll load. But anyways, this game is so cool. Look at this little robot. Bro, what the f There's 200, over 250 side quests. The main plot it was unfinished. The developers even admitted that. Um, they didn't have enough time to finish it, but this game, they still finished all the everything else. You know what I mean? So, you could still play over 200 gameplay hours just doing side quests and shit. Look at this game. Hold on. And look, you can even do this. You can even fly. Look, it's it's so open. The games, I played through all three of these developers' games, and they're all so open. You can just accept like 100 quests at once. Dude, this game owns. Oh, I forgot that I opened this door in my most current save. Look, there's like a creepy room back there with like these Cthulhu looking statues. Alright, you can't see it. I can't see it either. Alright, let's go. And look, this game uses um, a feature called illuminated textures. Texture illumination. So there's actually literally textures that are like lights. 
in themselves. You see how that panel like looks awesome at night, and at nighttime the posters on the walls are glowing because they use that look. You see that like it's a light. It's not a texture. It's illuminated. Oh wow! I didn't even know those things light up. Like look at the art style. These guys know art, man. It's just like this. I, I paid two dollars for this game. It did all, it it made all the game sins. It had like motion blur, boom, HDR, camera shake when you run. But I still I love it. I I've, I've fallen in love. It is so good. There are so many different creature types in this game. I've seen like forty different completely different species. Look at this. These buggies you drive around. Oh, at nighttime, it looks awesome. Look, look, he turns on his headlights at night if you make it nighttime. Look at that. Look at this game, dude. Look at this fucking video game. And look at this space station that I was on. This is one of the space stations I visited. Dude, this is literally Empyrean that nobody knows about. What the fuck? Mandela made this game, bro. There's, dude, there's no way a game like this would exist that I didn't know about. And look, look at this, look at the... Look at this thing! What the fuck? Look at this thing! What the fuck? You gotta see, look at the bathroom. This game is so awesome! And you could literally go out through the wall and be in space. It's just like so open and real. How do I get back out? I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Ah! I'm stuck in the urinals. Alright. Bro, what? Is that a place that I'm going to be able to visit in this game? I wouldn't be surprised. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Even the doors work well. Look at this game! So, in that first Dune level, I flew outside the map, and it started generating new biomes. It was infinite. Look at this! Look at this thing! Bethesda doesn't do this! Bethesda doesn't make different skeletons. Bethesda just reuses humanoids everywhere. Two dollar game! I'm not saying it's the best game ever made, but it's two dollars! And it's better than a Bethesda game! What the fuck? I played the first games for 200 hours each, and they took a month each to beat. And now this is their space game. And it is the most incredible game I've ever played. It is... Look at my spaceship. This is my spaceship that I could fly around. Dude. Better than Fallout 4. Easily. Better than No Man's Sky. Easily. Well, No Man's Sky. No, I'm thinking of the outer the outer worlds. Yeah, the outer worlds. Better than the outer worlds. Easily. Better than Spacer's Choice Edition. What is that game? Oh yeah, Outer Worlds. That's the yeah. This game is so good, dude. Look, this is my engine room. And the graphics are great too. The lighting is great. The texture variety is great. It's just that the textures themselves are low resolution. So if somebody took this game's loose texture files and just simply ran them through a texture upscaler, this game would look incredible. It would There, there would be nothing about it that looks lesser than another game. Oh, and then I have a thousand pound storage chest in my ship, which made me so happy, dude. So happy. Let's just go around to different saves I have. I've only visited two biomes. Apparently the main plot is unfinished, but it's all about the side quests and the and the visiting and just the ex enjoying the open ass game. Dude, I love these guys. Oh, and there's an a dry halud. Look at this game. Hold on. You gotta see this. Oh, that's my ship right there. This game has great rendering distances. Like, your ship will just render from a mile away. And if you go into scope mode with your rifle, then all enemies in the whole game render. It's like an override. Look, you see that monster way over there? See? Like, this game just ha is better than our Bethesda... Dude, I'm telling you! It's better! Like, I've been freaking out. Is that the dry halud? But you can see people, like, engaging in missile fights and blowing each other up from miles away, and it's just a remarkable game. 
Like, look at all those NPCs. I picked up... Dude, I spent like 60 hours in this first dune level. In this first, first desert level. I bought a buggy from that mechanic over there. This game is literally good. Like, the combat's even good, too. Like, the, a the enemy AI will, like, flank you and shit. Like, see, that was good physics. It's just like... Oh, and when you're driving in a buggy, the, um... Those big, um... The gnome thing I was just looking at. Can we hit this thing from here? Dude, I leveled up! Okay, anyways, these things could... Look, they're, they knock your car, and your car goes flying. And that's another thing. There's always shit going on, so it doesn't feel like the world revolves around you. It really is one of the best games I ever played in my life. I'm not even joking. Dude, I wanna... I wonder if there's gonna be... A monster to go along with that skeleton. Look, I want to show you the worm. You can see it too. It, it um, it's dynamic. It goes around the game world, and you could actually kill it. I killed it. Hold on. Just look for puffs of sand coming out of the ground. It looks like smoke. This is one of the best PC games I've ever played in my life. It only has 50. Look, there it is, right there. Dry halud. It's moving, it's moving. It'll pop up. Come on, man. There you go. Oh god, why'd you have to come out of the worst spot ever? It look now it looks like you're tiny. Was that like a baby one? Alright, that was seriously the worst one I've ever seen it do. But you can see it, like, out of the corner of your eye when you're driving your buggy through the desert. And it's like, dude, I just experienced something that was, like, literally more cinematic than a dune scene just now. It was so cool, and I'm talking about earlier. And Xenus 2, White Gold, and Xenus 1 were the same kind of, um, idea. Just open. Open, open, open. You could have 150 quests active at once, you not like one of them and just bail on it and come back 100 hours later. Did you know that in Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto um, Vice City, Mafia 1, Mafia 2, when you're, you can't make a save on an active quest, it just doesn't work, and like some merchants also disappear, and it's like, what the hell? And in this game, it doesn't have that issue, you can just save whenever you want. Oh, and always talk to people. Always talk to people. There are so many quests, and there's no bad quests. All the quests are like, you could tell someone sat down with pen and paper and was just like, oh, this is technically out of bounds, but I landed here just to see what it was like. And of course I can land and run around on foot, and this game is just perfect. <laughs> I like this. Oh wow, these things are spinning? Cool. So, um, there's a bit of a story about how the, look, I could fly this, that's one of the actual fly, flying usable models. And then there's this. Look, that is what I used. I literally used that. Because on there's a story. They took away, the basically in the 1.1 patch, the developers took the flyer away from Golden. And it's like the first intro zone to the game. It looks so awesome. Why did they do that? But anyways, you can do set clip equals one and grab it again, and then just use it for the whole time. Just, you, it'll save... It's uh, trunk space will save. It'll be there when you come back from another planet. Whoa, what is this? Oh no, I actually went in here and did a quest for a bitch. Wow, the spiders are still there from 100 gameplay hours ago. This game is so cool. A hand? Just take a hand. I'll just hand it a leg. I'll just take a leg. What? Why do I have a hand? In the first game, you could actually pick up all the ob physics objects and throw them. I don't know why they, they disabled that. But there's still a lot of physics stuff, like... Dude, there are so many creature types in this game. Oh yeah, and let's go through the guns. Okay, so... Look at this thing. Dude, look at this knife. It looks like it's straight out of, like, Turok or some shit. Oh, we gotta get in the flyer. I gotta show you how, how good this game is. It's got a Gatling gun. Where is my fire? 
I don't remember. Let's go to a different save. Where am I? Oh, this is where I found the crossbow. This guy. I didn't even see him sitting there. This game has great art style, man. And I love the way it looks at night. Look at the way it looks at night. So nice. Oh, and at different times, the sky will be like yellow, purple. It's like the, the developers understand that it's space. <laughs> the best PC game I've ever played. Seriously, out of all three games, this might be like... It's just, these guys are so cool, man. Alright, where's my flyer? That's all I want to show you. Oh, this is when I was sniping a guy for a quest on a roof. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, this is something different. Dude, this game is so cool. Okay, watch this. Oh, should I show you some combat real quick? You could even do stealth. And it doesn't aggro the other enemies. It, like, literally works exactly as I hoped it would. And you actually have to lead the target, like, by a, an inch. Because there's actually real bullet ballistics. Alright, there you go, look. 3x game speed. Oh, I'm still in sneak mode, okay. Look how awesome this thing is. It just like the way it flies and controls, look, it tilts forward. Whoa, it's so cool. And look, shoots missiles. And it actually guides to them, you see that? I love that sound, bro. Why would they take this out of the first level? What were they thinking? Oh, and it's got a Gatling gun. You can barely hear it. If I bring the camera closer, that's good. Wait, where am I right now? Whoa, I'm standing on top of the thing! And there's these plants. Um, the first 30 seconds of the game is a horribly cringy tutorial sequence. Don't even bother picking up guns and exploring in that zone. Because you don't get to keep them. You s it's just like, it's almost like a flashback. So just blaze through the first tutorial sequence. I almost quit the game from that stupid little tutorial. I was like, oh, this game's gonna be garbage. This is one of the best PC oh, games I've ever played in my life. And it's only like a 30 second tutorial sequence. It's just in like, Russian voices. I think this game's great. I really do. Oh, and picking up like the mandibles and selling them to the merchant. I got a perk so that I got a perk that wasn't even on the list from a quest. And that's another cool thing. You can get secret perks. In all three of the games, I got secret perks. That weren't even on the perk list. It has to be a headshot. These guys have really good armor. But I advise playing this game, all three of the games, on difficult, uh, on easy difficulty. Because um, all enemies in the game do the same damage to you, regardless of what difficulty you choose. So. Pick easy, because on easy, your guns do more damage. That's the only difference. So think about this. In the second game, it would be like six or seven AK body shots, and I didn't really like that. I was playing on medium difficulty. It was or always one headshot, which was cool. Dude, they could have a helmet on in this game, and you could shoot them in the head, and it won't be a headshot because they have a helmet on. But if you aim at their face, it's a headshot. How cool is that? Do you know how many AAA games I've seen where the helmet just flies off even if you shoot them in the face? Just because... The game wants you to know that that's a helmet. It's a, it's, you can't get a headshot. Like, dude, there are so many things that have been so good about this game. What did I just dis... I was just saying something else, though. I just love it. I just love it. Should I show you all the different guns? There's not that many guns in this game. But the, they're cool. They're so cool. Like, there's only, like, five rifles and pistols to use on this first planet and then on this second planet I've got like four weird alien guns already let's actually go back to where I, I am in the game and let's go back to my spaceship I'm just so stoked I'm like literally excited like I 
great day night cycle loading screens are one second long uh, jet skis in the second game wow this water looks awesome oh and like airplanes that you have you can land on water with water landing gear and like you actually have to bank like every single vehicle is completely different and it, it feels different and the helicopters are so cool oh look I can try to deceive them and see if they'll be friends with me no. That was gruesome, bro. That neck stab I just did. Seriously, what is bad about this game? People will just like click on... Whoa, what is that? Whoa, look at that. People will just like click on the videos of this game and they'll be like, Bro, really said this is better than Fallout 4. Does Fallout 4 have aircrafts that I can't see? I'm sorry. I I'm confused. Can you show me the... The aircraft in Fallout 4 that can take me to space? I'm just a little confused is all. I just don't understand why gamers almost like vote. It's almost like they don't like games. It's like they like people. They like humanity. They like companies. You know, it's like... Real gamers, click this video. You're gonna wanna play this game. Whoa, what the fuck is that? And in the files, there's seven different planet biome types, and I've only visited two, so I'm stoked. Apparently, the um, plot and the main campaign is like it just ends abruptly, but it's all about it's all up to you to like have have the fun. But there's still there's still campaign. I mean, definitely do it. It's good, but the real gameplay time comes from your own exploration, your own fun. But that's not true because there's over 250 quests. I never really just ran around willy-nilly. I always had something to do. These games are good. And apparently you could use these as a battle pet or something. That's what an NPC said. I don't know if it was just... What the fuck is that? Dude! I didn't know these made it into this game. Whoa! I just got killed by a fucking elephant or some shit. What the fuck was that sound? Alright, thanks for checking out. The precursors. Just type precursors in Steam. Or, even better yet, do what I did. Go on Google and type in precursors cheap CD key. I got a legit CD key for this game for $2.38. I think it was on Game Evo or Kingwin. I forget. Alright, peace out.